Hi, welcome to SQL Server 2016 Administration. This is the Maintenance and Automation section. My name is Steve Jones and I'll be your instructor for this course. I've been working with SQL Server and databases for over 25 years. And in that time, I've been a developer, I've been a DBA, I've been a manager, and I've worked with a variety of different database software. I've worked with SQL Server since 1991. So for almost all of my career, I've been working with SQL Server. I've also worked with Oracle and DB2 and MySQL and various other platforms across my career. I have worked in a variety of companies, both big and small companies, from uh, the two or three person startup to 10,000 person plus companies. And I've worked in different industries. I've worked in utilities, education, finance, and more. So I've had a number of experiences working with SQL Server platform in different ways and in different situations and environments. Along the way, I also started SQLServerCentral.com as a way to give back and teach people more about the platform. I'm one of the founders and I'm currently the editor and it's been my full-time job for about 10 years now. Microsoft has acknowledged my contributions to the community. I've been a SQL Server MVP and Data Platform MVP for the last 10 years. I live in Colorado, as you can see, I enjoy the outdoors and uh, it's my way of getting away from computers and enjoying life, but I do really enjoy working with SQL Server and databases, so let's move forward. Let's take a brief look at the course overview. In this course, we'll have four real modules. Uh, this one is just the introduction and description, but then we'll move into backup and restore. And we'll talk about this from the administrative perspective, how we choose which backups to make and actually perform those backups as well as restores. We'll then move into automation, where we'll talk about uh, jobs, operators, and alerts, and try to understand how we can let the SQL Server platform do some of the work for us. We'll then move to high availability, which is ensuring that our databases are always available. And we'll talk about always on and clustering. We won't go too deep in those because of the short or the length of this course, but uh, we'll get you started and let you understand what those platforms mean for high availability and how you might learn more. And then finally, we'll look at the disaster recovery. That's different from high availability. Disaster recovery is how we get things back going when we've had an issue. And we'll talk about replication and log shipping, which are ways to help us get back and recover from disasters. And of course, we will need backups. We want to make sure you know about backups, what they mean, how to restore in any situation. So we'll look at a variety of those. We'll talk about schedulers or operators and our alerts, the ways that will help us. And then we'll continue on to disaster recovery and high availability. We expect you to know a little bit about SQL Server Management Studio. So you should be comfortable installing the platform, starting it up, connecting to Management Studio, browsing through the various folders, uh, adding new objects as needed, or running queries. And we'll give you the information you need there. You will need a computer with SQL Server installed and an internet connection. This could be on your local machine or it could be out in the cloud somewhere. If you want to participate in the database mail sections, you'll need an email account to send mail. And then if we, when we get to the AJ and DR sections, you'll really need multiple computers or maybe an Azure account to simulate multiple computers if you want to complete those modules. You can still learn without those, but it's helpful to have multiple computers to experiment on your own.